One of the big reasons why a patient may end up in a surgical ICU is for infection. And the medical term that we can refer to this as is called sepsis. Sepsis usually implies that there's some sort of end organ damage going on here. And that's when the infection becomes very badly that somebody may need ICU level of care. So one way we can quickly screen patients who come to the hospital from the emergency department, for example, to see if they're going to be sick from sepsis is using something called a QSOPA, which stands for Quick Sequential Organ Failure Assessment. And there's three components of this. The three components are going to be ultra mental status, a systolic blood pressure of less than 100, and a respiratory rate greater than 22. If your patient has at least two out of three of these, there would be a positive screen on the QSOFA. By using this quick assessment, you're able to basically figure out if you're suspecting an infection, if your patient is going to have a prolonged stay in the ICU, or have a high likelihood of dying in the hospital. After you do this QSOFA score and your patient ends up in the ICU, you'll end up doing the full SOFA score, which has seven different components to it. But those components involve lab testing. And so because you don't have to do the lab testing for the QSOFA, it makes for a good screening test. Lastly, let's talk about what the definition of septic shock is. Septic shock has three different components to it as well. The first one is going to be that they meet sepsis three criteria. So this is where your SOFA score comes into play. So if your patient has two or more points are rising on their SOFA score, that usually indicates end organ damage and it can involve a few different organs like your kidneys or your liver or your lungs. The second thing is you're going to be using vasopressors to maintain the mean arterial pressure of greater than 65. And the last component is that they have a rising lactate level of at least 2.2 or more. So just quickly go over the components of what makes up septic shock. Septic shock has three components as well. The first being that they meet sepsis criteria, and that's using your QSOFA or your SOFA score. Uh, if your SOFA score is rising greater than two points at a time, that's going to show that this patient has end organ damage, whether it's their lungs, their kidneys, or their liver. Um, and so that's going to basically knock out that component. The second component is going to be using vasopressors to maintain a mean arterial pressure of greater than 65. And the last component is going to be a serum lactate level of greater than two. If your patient is uh, diagnosed with septic shock, they have about a 40% mortality rate. One of the few things that has been shown to help these patients is early recognition and early initiation of antibiotic treatment. That's why when a lot of these patients come into the hospital, we will use broad spectrum antibiotics, even if we don't know what the exact organism is or where the source is. And then as we gather more information, we'll narrow our antibiotic coverage as the patient is recovering.